Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I've heard some very, very good comments today on both sides of this argument. And although I certainly understand how passionate each and every one of us feels in this chamber about our districts and fighting for that district, I don't really get it. Like, I don't get how we as a chamber, as a body, charges certain groups, agencies, boards of regents, et cetera, with specific responsibilities. But then when they make one we don't like, then we change the whole operation. So what concerns me is, do we really know what we're doing here? I have the same concern everybody else has about them making a decision without going to a vote. And I think that's something we need to very seriously look into. I don't think anybody in this chamber agrees that they should be able to do that. But going past that for one second, making legislation in a piecemeal way, I would say is very, very dangerous. We have a governor that put out his budget. We will have a general assembly, both parties that put out their versions. All of those versions, whether you like them, you hate them, or they're in between, will have painful parts to them. And by that, I mean cuts. And we all know that based on the fiscal situation we're in now. So I would contend that we make one decision or another decision. We can't say, you are charged with this responsibility, and then micromanage the whole thing along the way, because that's us being hypocritical. We either give them the authority or we don't. And I would say, if we don't believe they should have the authority, then that's a conversation to have. That's a conversation we could have. That's an intellectual conversation. That's a conversation about policy and how we believe our education systems should be run. But because we don't like a decision they made, we pick out one part of our educational system and not the other part. Now, I don't think we should have either part. But if we're picking one part, why not put UConn in there? I still don't understand, and nobody has explained to me today, how we picked one and not the other. So I would just say to this chamber, I would be very, very cautious about making this decision because as we've heard time and time again, based on what we're going to see in the next few months in making a budget that we're all going to vote on one way or the other, this is a slippery slope. This is a very slippery slope and where we are right now if we pass this is no man's land. We're not giving them the authority, but we're not taking it away. So we either give it to them or we take it away. Right now, we're nowhere, and nowhere is a very dangerous place to be. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.